All right, so you're thinking kind of like, it's almost like a high mid fade almost. You want it, you want like that length, a little bit textured on the top. Yes. Yeah, I, I yeah. and then line it up in the front. I'll probably just make sure that it's even and squared. Okay. And then we'll line it up real sharp, like in the picture. Line it up in the front real, real sharp and no seek up. Ball fade. Right. I'm a blurry. Nice. And we'll try to we'll try to curl it up too. So awesome. Let's do it. You ready? Alright. <laughs> YouTube, what's going on? We are back to the grind. I just got back home from Atlanta. We were at MBBS. If you stick around to the end of the video, you'll get a glimpse of what I was doing out there. Um, but nonetheless, we're back to the almost daily content grind. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We are starting off this haircut pretty much with creating a guide all the way around. This is gonna tell me, you know, how long um, the longest length on the sides is gonna be, and essentially, and it's dictated by his head shape. So we're looking at his parado ridge, and we're starting to create, you know, um, what you what's called graduation from shortest to longest by pulling the hair out to the desired length and cutting it. Once we're done there, we will cut the top to the desired length. And just like we saw in the consultation, he wanted more of a textured look on top. Now the picture he showed me was of somebody with curly hair, like, you know, like, kind of, I'm not gonna say tight curly hair, but like medium curly hair. His hair is not curly at all. His hair is kind of wavy. So I'm not gonna do blunt lines. I'm just gonna kind of point point cut it. We're not looking to create a choppy look because the more um, the more hair you take out, the more you thin out, um, the less texture this hair type is gonna be. So what well, we we don't want kind of like that that choppyish um, texture, but I also don't need it to be blunt lines. So we're just kind of cutting cutting um, at a at a steep angle here. And I'm not cutting deep in. Again, I'm just cutting to cut the desired length, not at a blunt line. I'm pulling this hair all the way out because if it falls over to the sides, I want it to connect to the back, I should say. All right, now we'll start trimming the bangs here and just cutting it straight across, making sure it's even. He doesn't have like a triangle falling on his forehead. All right, so we've cut the top, we blue, we blue dry it. Now we're just gonna do clipper over comb and we're just connecting it pretty much to what we started off with shear work. And we're gonna lower it down on the sides and prepare it for a ball fade. Now, I used to cut his hair a lot, man. Like when he was a baby, when he was a kid, I used to cut his hair. It's, it's had to have been more than, you know, probably like two years since I've cut his hair. But uh, I, I was looking for miles for YouTube and they were like, hey, we'll do it. So shout out to them for helping us out, man. Um, so at this point, we're doing a number three. It's all the way closed. And that's just gonna clear the rest of the bulk because I just wanna make sure I know once I start my fade system, what I'm fading into. So we're starting off with the clipper all the way closed. We're not starting off with the trimmer, but I think this is gonna work out in our favor. Um, just because with kids, man, not saying him, he's not he's he's not the type of kid that gets you know that moves a lot or anything like that. But a lot of kids, um, they they move so they move a lot towards the end. And um, if you don't get through this fade as quickly as possible. You know, you're gonna end up trying to spread the fade out or still be in the detailed part, detailing part by the time you get almost done or they start getting antsy. So if you can clear through the hard part as fast as possible, and there's some kids that I start off with the lineup. You know, they get they get um, all evens or whatever, low all evens. I'll start off with the lineup because 
these kids, man, you know, if you do the lineup or one of the harder, more detailed parts towards the end, that's when they're moving the most. It's a bad idea. So if I can get through the fade in a lineup on this on this individual, um, which he's not a problem, don't get me wrong. But if I can, that's just kind of like what I do on default with kids. Um, but then towards the end, all I'm really doing is finishing off, balding him out, and maybe maybe some detail work. I don't know, but um, it's much better to spend less time balding him out in the beginning than doing it towards than um, I'm sorry, in at the end than doing it in the beginning. So at this point, we are using our one and a half guard, and we're gonna start I think blending down on these panels. And if I miss some of the guards I was using, remember guys, we are using the color guides on the bottom left corner here that will keep you um, guided. <laughs> now the back here, his hair is very, very squared and flat in the back. I wanted to round it more, but then I was a, like... It's been a while since I cut his hair. He has two calyx in the back here that sit pretty low. So I didn't want to destroy, like I didn't want to have that calyx sprouting out too much while he's still trying to keep, you know, some length on top. So I just kept it squared. I didn't run up too high, although I did want to round it some so it didn't look so flat in the back. It was a decision I decided to make just because I think especially customers, they care more about being able to control, you know, a little bit longer hair on top than they, do, than they do, you know, giving that round shape. Like if it to me, especially in my opinion, if if I have to choose whether I am more rounded and the and the back of my head is flat, um, if I have to choose between that and my hair sprouting out and me having to have product for it to look right, I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna choose, you know, what I'm saying just just leave it longer. <laughs> All right, so at this point, we're using our half guard, and this is almost the last part. This is pretty much what's going to bring the blend together in the middle. You like kind of meeting the blend in, in the middle and watch how it just kind of comes together before we start the detailing portion. I think you guys can see it's starting, it's starting to get there. So I have it almost all the way closed as far as the half guard. And um, I guess I saw some a little bit of darkness there. So I, before moving on, I just went ahead and touched it up with that number one guard. All right, so we're back to the half guard and we're working on the back here. And we're just going to do this all the way around the head. Same techniques, same tips, we're gonna do all the way around. And I'm working, now I'm working right beneath where I left off with that half guard, um, with no guard. Just to prepare for this trimmer work. So I just went back with, again, I went back with the clipper closed just to make sure that area was the clipper closed. So that when I started with that with that um, skeleton, I wouldn't create another line. And now I can just, you know, I could clear the bulk without having to worry about creating another line. And then right beneath that, if I want to pass the shaver, I can. Just don't go above. Kind of take a mental note of where you left off and don't go above. But from that angle, that blend was, was looking good. It was looking really good. I already had the trimmer on this side, so I went ahead and just started cleaning up. And now we'll go ahead and start um, taking out this bottom line. I'm going close, going up a third of the, of the way up. Every time I open the lever up some, you go up a little bit more. Open it up some, go up a little bit more. But again, but don't open it up some and go up like a tiny bit more. Or, I, I'm sorry, don't open it up a bunch. Like, don't go from close to like halfway and only go up you know 
a third of the way. You have to do it in equal increments. So if you open the lever a quarter of the way, go up a quarter of the way up. If you open it up, you know, halfway, go up, you know, almost halfway, a little bit more than halfway. All right, so we've done that bottom line. We started to blend down. We did that one open. Now we're going one closed, and now we're going the half guard. And again, remember this half guard kind of brings everything to life. If it doesn't, if this, if it's still a little bit dark, then take the guard off, open up the blade, and blend down from there. All right, so it's still a little bit dark, and just like I told you guys. The blade's all the way open. I took that half guard off, and now we're just blending down to take off any little darkness that's in the middle and really bring that blend to life. Then we'll line it all up and detail it and show you guys the finished result. But I will tell you this. Um, his dad, he follows the YouTube channel. He follows um, the Instagram and stuff. He's been following for a while. Um, and he definitely follows Get Beamed as well. And he asked me to enhance his son's cut. He says he, he loves enhancements. He always gets it. And since it's, it's a video and um, they, they don't get to get their hair cut with me that, that often, he asked me to enhance it. So we're going to enhance the cut. And because no drip... Um, it's designed for the skin. It is safe for kids. You don't have to patch test like you have to do with with things like Just For Men or Kiss or, or Begin, which is the right way to say Beijing. I know I'm going to get some trolls, but that's that's one of the perks of No Drip that you don't have to patch test it and it's safe on skin. So I didn't have no problem using it on, on Lil' Man. So if you remember the picture... The front was lined up sharp, so we're doing the same thing. I've been getting a lot of comments of like people who like, you never, you never line up the front, or the front only looks good on black people. Guys, the that's opinion and that's preference. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I grew up around a lot of Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, and 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 everybody. All walks of life. And we work in a very diverse um, area. I mean, Florida in general is pretty diverse. Um, I know that all around the country, there are like less diverse barbershops. There's like black shops. There's, you know what I'm saying? Like there's all kinds of different shops that are not as diverse as, as like, for example, here in Tampa. Um, but I could tell you, man, everybody gets lines up, lineups around here. And like 9 out of 10 of my clients get their eyebrows done too. So just so you guys can kind of understand, like I've been I've been blessed enough to be able to travel and see, you know, shops in every city around the world. Um, and I've been able to see, you know, like it is different. The coach, barbershop coaches are different depending on where you're at. But um, just to give you guys full context, man. In, in the shops here, in my shops here in Tampa, and I have seven locations, everybody gets lines lineups. There's like probably like 97% of people who come to the shops get a lineup. All right, so one of the benefits here with the shave gel um, is that it helps kind of push the hair forward. So I do like to saturate it some and then comb it down. And it kind of, it almost holds the hair into place. So when I do the razor work, I can get a nice sharp line. And with kids especially, I don't like to dry shave. I want it to be comfortable as possible for them. I'm not saying I won't, but typically I do. Oh, look at the finished product. So you saw the before. Look at the finished product. He's in the game, I feel like. Um, I think I think <laughs> my man's feeling himself. Let's see what he thinks about the cut. Bro, you fresh, bro. You like it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. That's it. That's the video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the like button. Let's see if we can hit 1,500 likes. YouTube, hold on, hold on. Don't click out. We just got done at MBBS. 
We're wrapping up the show. I want to talk to you guys. I want to show you guys a little bit of the highlights of this show. So YouTube, listen, this show was pretty dope, man. Like, what I can tell you is it was definitely education focused. We had some of the best educators from all over the world. I'm talking Europe, UK, all of that. And I got to teach a business class yesterday morning. We talked about branding. We talked about developing products. We talked about just growing um, in all types of levels, whether it's a shop you're trying to brand, you're trying to grow your personal brand. We talked about all that stuff. And, and yo, I, I'm not gonna lie to you, man. The way that Sam, put this show together man i hope it gets a whole lot more support in the next coming years because you know it was one of those shows that really did focus on quality the show was nice the production was nice the people who ran the show were on point and so i just wanted to shout out sam privado by sam here in atlanta georgia for putting together a dope show and for having us um and for everybody who came out who all the subscribers that came out man i enjoyed meeting everyone Every single one of you guys, I'll be back in Georgia, Georgia for Bronner Brother. And the next show we hitting is ISSC Long Beach. So make sure you there. Appreciate you guys. See ya on the next tutorial.